makes me feel like everything is gonna be alright. It makes me feel like everything is gonna be alright. When I'm with you. something to eat. Come on, let's go. What is this? No, put that back. You know, you really ought to put those magazines somewhere kids can't see them. I'll take just the chips. Okay. Come on, let's go. Go knock on the front door, okay? Go on, go knock.
<laughs> I got you, didn't I? Come on in. I'm gonna go get Mickey something to eat. Go, Kipper. Come on, sit over here. Come on, sweetheart. I made you a sandwich. Sit right here. I'm just gonna go take a quick look around. I'll be right back. you doing in my house sorry we couldn't wait and he was hungry I had a mind that was your truck down the road yep that's me I run out of gas luckily you're close by lucky me I wanted you to meet my boy and he wanted to meet you well good cuz I ain't giving you a red cent you still owe me from last time. That's not what this is about, I swear. What's your name? Oh, you're looking at my bear. That's the last damn face that bear ever made. It happened right out there in the backyard. Dog started barking and carrying on. I looked up from the sink and there he was, surrounded by all three of them dogs, clawing and scratching at him. Before I could get my gun, he had already took out poor old Daisy and Petey. I felled him right there. One blast to the chest, blam! So you remember that. Don't mess with my dogs. You want to touch it? Oh, he's a regular chatty Cathy, ain't he? He's had a rough time lately. Hmm. That cowboy yours do that? Why, you ain't never had enough sense to pick a good one, have you? Your picker's broken. You want some ice cream? 
Okay, sure. <laughs> well, that broke the levy. Tell me your name, I'll go fix you some. Kip. Kip. Well, Kip, have a seat and I'll go fix it for you. Uh-uh, I'll do it myself. You might have seen fit the call. I just... <laughs> I figured it'd be better if we just showed up. I mean, if I called, you'd just say oh, no. Well, you got that right. Here. Meet me in the parlor. Feel free to turn on the TV. I did. All channels are black and white. Well, I wouldn't know. Colorblind. That's very rare for a woman. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am a very rare woman. Dichromacy or monochromacy? What'd you say? Two kinds of colorblindness. They're both hereditary. Hmm. You know? No, I did not know. How'd you get so smart? How you know all that stuff? You got it too? I'm not sure. Can hope I do. Now, why would you say a thing like that? Well, some scientists say colorblindness could be an evolutionary advantage. Lots of animals are colorblind, especially predators. And bears? Nope, bears can see in color. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that butter pecan, huh? Yep. Just like your mama. She used to come home straight through that front door, head right to the deep freeze, and eat her way clean through all my favorite flavors. Don't eat too much, honey. You'll spoil your appetite. We stayed for supper? Do you like to stay? Do you want to? He certainly likes you. It's the most he's spoken in months. Mm. Well, let's see. Last time I saw or heard from you was what? Seven, eight years ago? Looks like that money you stole from me. You didn't use it for what it was you said you was going to do. No, I didn't. And thank the good Lord. He's my little man. He's my angel. Sorry I took that money from you. I really am. I just... I just knew you wouldn't lend it to me for that. and I had nowhere else to go. How do you know what I would have done? I'm a woman. I watched the view. Where's his daddy? His real daddy. What was his name? Chip? Chuck? Chet. Chet. <laughs> Last I heard, he was holed up drunk and high in that same old trailer we used to live in. The one who done all that to you? Nah. I know what you're thinking, Tess. Tommy was different. He was good. And he is good. He's really good when he's not drinking. Yeah, I saw that big old diamond ring on your finger. He loves me. And he loves Kip. He insisted on adopting Kip right after we got married. Chet didn't even put up a fight. Then one day out of the blue, Tommy just smacks you a good one on his way to feed the homeless. That what happened, Merle, hmm? And the boy, Does his new daddy beat him? No, hell no. I'd kill him if he ever laid a hand on him. What's the police say about all this? They don't see me as nothing but a kooky bird. <sighs> so where are you gonna go? No, I just want to go somewhere there's a crowd I can get lost in. Hmm. What's this? 
Misty Shell from California. Da, 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 da. We're invading the picture. <laughs> We're invading That's the, the beach. picture. I don't yeah. even know what a missile is, though. When we get to California, we'll go find one. How about we put this stuff up now? No. Put your ship in. Okay. There you yeah. go. I'm a little bit nervous about the earthquakes. They say it isn't if, it's when, you know. Oh, well, don't you worry, baby boy. We'll get us a house on roller skates, and then when the big one comes, we'll just roll all around. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, Kip, has Daddy ever hit you? No, Mama. Why? Okay. Eskimo kids? So, till. Jellyfish walk and, and turtles fly, fly. unicorns fart and, and eat booger pies, till gators drive cars and dolphins take flight. I love you, I love you, I love you. morning, good night. Oh, what was that? What the heck? Is that your tongue? Gross, ew, ew. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Inappropriate! <laughs> you don't do that with your mom. It's gross, okay? You say that for your girlfriend when you're 30. <laughs> Good night. And no more with that tongue. <laughs> Good night. I love you. the hell out of me again, Tommy. What'd you expect? I didn't mean it. Can I help it if I'm passionate? I just got carried away in the heat of the moment. Yeah? You say that every time. What? Don't be all dramatic now. I said I didn't mean it. Come on home, baby. Tommy, have you ever hit Kip? Tommy. Tommy, are you still there? It was an accident, Merle. We were boxing. I was uh, showing him how to protect himself. He didn't duck when I told him to. Tommy. I'm trying to teach him how to be a man, Merle. I knew you'd overreact. That's why I told him not to tell you. You gotta tell me this stuff. There can't be secrets between us. I know, baby. I'm sorry. Tell Kip I'm sorry, too. If he comes home, I'll get him that puppy he's been wanting. Golden Retriever, uh, Lab, Pitbull, whatever he wants. I got you something too, baby. You did? Something sexy. <laughs> Give me that phone. You listen to me. You stay away from her and don't you ever come near her or that boy again. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Turn this damn thing off. <laughs> Who is it? 
Randall? Sorry to wake you, Tess. What the hell you want so early? Can I come in? I guess so. I wasn't asleep. I was making coffee. You want some? Yeah, coffee'd be great. Thanks. Say, you know anything about a broke down Ford extended cab out on Highway 81? <laughs> Good grief. Every other car in Oklahoma's a pickup. Is that how come you came pounding on my door at the crack of dawn? Yeah, this one here it belongs to a man over in Cashin. We got a got an amber alert out on it. A child abduction. Child abduction? Yeah, mama. Took her son and run off. Her own son? Since when is that child abduction? It sounds more like a weekend getaway from a no-good husband to me. Who is that? Yeah, that's my new partner, Conley. She's just up from the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, New York City. Hello, Officer Conley. Welcome to my home. Wake up, Perry. Wake up. Wake up. That would be my husband, Bob. I expect you've heard a lot about him from Randall and anybody else in town. He was a sheriff here for 35 years. Now, hang on there. I hadn't even gotten my bed made yet. You got no right to go up there. Randall, this is illegal. Not if we're in pursuit, Tess. Pursuit? The plates on the truck, they belong to Murray. If I had a dollar for every time I had to haul that girl's butt back here, drunk or worse. <laughs> Thought maybe she'd settle down a bit after she had her boy. Hell, maybe she will yet. Conley, let's pack it up. I ran the plates myself, but it's only gonna be a matter of time till my young go get her cohort out there runs them too. If you talk to her, you best tell her she needs to get herself on home, turn herself in, because it's only gonna get worse if she don't. Thanks for the coffee. Hey, you know I'm gonna have to impound the truck until the owner comes for it. Just take it. Oh. What was left in the yes. jar? You're going to need a whole lot more than me. Thank you, Aunt Tess. Get out of here. And, and stay off that damn phone or get yourself a new one. And, and let me know when you get to California. Write me a postcard. None of them damn emails. And if I hear that you've gone back to that damn son of a bitch, I'm going to black your other eye myself. You hear me? Love you. Hey, Kipper, you like this car? Oh, yeah. What color is it? Red. No, wait, green. No. Blue. <laughs> That's right.
So now I'm a kidnapper, huh? What the hell, Tommy? He's my son. He's both ours now, remember? And I never called you a kidnapper. Well, the police are. There's one hell of a way to get me to reconsider coming back home. This is the third time you've taken my boy. And this time you stole my truck. What the hell you expect me to do? You should have kept this between you and me. Come on home, baby. We can straighten all of this out. I'll tell him you ain't no kidnapper. I won't make it without you two. No, don't do that. Don't try and make me feel sorry for you. It's the same you always... Paul. I can't anymore. You hear me? I can't anymore. Listen to me. The hitting, the lies... They will find you and they will arrest you if you don't come home. Come home now. And I'll make sure you don't go to jail. Jail? That's exactly what will happen if you keep going. Mommy, you wouldn't. Mom! Mom, look! Wait till you see what I got us. Check it out. It's for the dashboard. She wiggles her butt when you hit a bump. See, Mama? Close the door, baby. Close the door. <laughs> That's great, baby. We have to go back to your dad. Kip, I love you. I don't expect you to understand. Turn around! Put your seatbelt on. Stop! Stop! Kip, stop! What is wrong? Kip, why did you run away? He, uh, Look at me. He, Sweetheart, talk to me. What is wrong? He, what? Kip. Uh, Sweetie, tell me. I can't hear you. What? At night time. What? He comes to my room. Closes the door and makes me watch him. He makes you watch what? Until I can't keep my eyes open. Baby, I don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> he doesn't work close mostly, but... What? But he closes my door. What did you just say? <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. Baby, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Kip? show you. Give me one of those. We're skipping, Echo. huh? Echo. 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 
Bob was a sheriff, and sheriffs use guns. And outlaws. No, but listen to me. You and me are on the right side of the law. The police are wrong this time. I know what they said, but they're wrong. They're all wrong. The cops, the TV, the law, everybody. You hear me? Yeah. That's her, all right. He was such a cute boy. A lot. Kidnapped. Damn. I sure hope he's all right. She mentioned anything to you about where they might be headed? No. You yeah, wait. The boy. He said something about California. He wanted oysters. <laughs> Here, in Watonga. Listen to me, you stay here until I come get you, okay? Got it. Great. for that. Nuisance. Rana around? This looks like Rhonda's around. Well, good, Meryl. With that uh Prince of Placer or whatever. Duke goes of Drywall. By. Not anymore. Oh. Good. How long you had that? A couple months. One too many DUIs. Rise. Nice reminder. Time for a change. That thing smells the alcohol in your sweat. Unless you're clever. <laughs> Still don't keep me from doing a mean two-step? Nah. 
I just met you <laughs> an hour ago. Something clicking, surely I know. I wanna call you again and again. I wanna show you off to my friends. I wanna buy you a ring, make you sing. I wanna write you a song. Kip, I told you to wait in the car. What you want in that suit? No, it's your sucker. I got it from Dillard's. The, the tie's from Shuffler's. These two were tears from Shuffler's. And I got every fancy pair of boots I own there. Why don't you wear them anymore? Well... <clears throat> it's hard to get around this, uh... Fancy ankle bracelet of mine. Can I use the bathroom? Yeah, it's around the corner. Hey, door don't close. That's all right. What are you doing over here for anyway, huh? What do you want from me? I'm in a deep heap. Me and Kip are both in a heap of... What? Police shot? <laughs> well, you can't stay here. Police Chris two or three times here a day just to check on me. Somebody just needs to tell him the truth. Tell him what happened, then they'll see and let me go. Nobody's going to believe me right now. What the hell are you talking about? What Tommy did to our kid. He messed with him. Messed with him? What does that mean? No good. You should have never married him. This is your own doing. You got yourself into you. This has nothing to do Why with Why did you. I ever think that you might actually help? I knew you'd say something like this. You're gonna have to deal with this yourself. I already have enough problems of my own. Uh, okay? Get out of here before the police get here. We had our family reunion. Now go on. Get out of here. Get. Don't come back. Shit. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Hey. Stop. What? What are you doing? That's my car! Hey! Damn it! Police, open up! About damn time. I ain't done nothing wrong. 
You got anybody else staying here with you, son? No. What can you tell me about this car out here? If it's still mine, at least she left me hers. So she was here, your wife, Merle? Rafton. Excuse me? Husband of hers raped, raped him, raped my boy. Put your hands down, son. Look at me now. How do you know this man hurt your son? She told me. You have reason to believe that she's telling you the truth? Yeah. Good girl. One thing Merle ain't. It's a lie. Uh. Uh. Child services over this latest issue. It's a crazy meth head looking for sympathy. You don't really believe him. Hell, I don't know. But it could not hurt to look into the adopted father. I did. Not the more than traffic infractions and DUI that got tossed. Kiwanis Club, Little League coach, church man. like a statue. Don't move. I love you, my little mummy. And again, today is the third day of the big Hey. Hi. I'll take a room. Uh, okay, just fill that out there for me. So you, you're traveling all alone? Eddie? Uh-huh. Just for the night? Uh-huh. That's right. Cash okay? Uh, yeah. As long as I ain't rubber. <laughs> Sorry, that was a horrible joke. I could, I could probably get you the honeymoon suite for the same price. A uh, big round bed. No, thanks. Jacuzzi. And it comes with a free bottle of champagne. It was supposed to be just for the married couple, but I could probably rustle you up one. No, thanks. That won't be necessary. I'll take a regular room. Suit yourself. All right, it's gonna be number uh, 205, and I'll I'll see you to your room. I'll be fine, thanks. 205? Yeah, it's, Thank you. It, no, it'd be my pleasure. No, no, really, no, not necessary. I, I seriously don't mind at all. I just painted it. I, I know you're gonna like it. That's really I'm about to take you out, okay? Sure, I'll help you with that. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. No, I got okay. it. No, no, really, I, it's okay. I don't mind. It's I'll, I'll give you a little hand here. No, I got it, okay. I got it, I got it. It's okay, it's okay, yeah, there you go. Uh, dang, this, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, what heavy. do you got in here, a body? Yeah, listen, it's heavy, but be careful. Be careful with that. 
Molly, listen, yeah. it's heavy, but I'm used to it. No, it's cool. I, it is heavy, but I, I got it. I got it. Oh, Here we go. Please be careful. I'll be careful. I'll be careful. We got it. Oh, yeah, that is kind of heavy, though. Yeah. Oh, easy. No, it's, it's all right. I got it. I got it. Oh, I may be a little jiggly now, but... I threw shot put at Shawnee High, okay? Oh. I'm stronger than I look. Careful. I was all state three years straight. Oh, Just a few more steps. Please be careful. I got it. I'm being careful. Easy. There we go. There we go. Go. Okay. Hello. Five. Whew. That new paint smell is like a punch in the face. Just leave the door open. It'll air out, or you'll get used to it. I got it One from here, other. thanks. All right. Here we go. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh, Betty. I hope I didn't break nothing it's okay. there. okay. Thank you. I got it. I'm really sorry. Just go. It's, uh, the name's Wade. I'll be over there in the office till midnight if Thank you need you. anything. Thank you, Wayne. Good night. Just close the door on your way out, please. Wade. Wade. With, with a D. Thank you, Wade. Good night. Oh my god, oh my god, are you okay? Baby, are you okay? What an idiot. Oh god, get up here. Yes. He's a real a-hole, although I don't want you using that word. I saw a Denny's down the road. I am not getting back in that bag tonight. Okay, fine. Fine, I can understand that. I saw a bar next door. What if I just go over there and see if they got some food, too? Okay, stay here and watch TV. I'll be right back. Do not open for anybody. and Don't leave the room. You got it? Okay, good. Lock this door. Lock it. Maybe. Excuse me, can I get a menu? Sure. And a beer. Thanks. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this next little number is one I wrote and I'd like to dedicate to the, uh, the pretty lady from Oklahoma City who just walked through the door. Hey, can I buy you a beer? No, thank you. I already got one. Yeah, well, let's get you another one, but that one gets warm. <laughs> Honestly, thank you, but I can't. I left my son in the room. You know what? You can have my beer, but thanks. Well, now, hold on a second. Where are you going? Are you kidding me? The second I said the word son, 
your face turns 16 shades of white. No offense. It ain't the first time I've seen a man get all pasty at the mention of a kid. You got a kid. You got a husband, too? Mm, a long story. Well, your food ain't come yet. One beer. Just one beer. Fair? That's fair. Okay. Cheers. You sing here all the time? Yeah, when I work in the grill. Well, you got a nice voice. Well, thank you. You like my songs? <laughs> well, the one I heard was great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thanks for the dedication. Yeah. How come you think I'm from Oklahoma City? I don't know. I just got that, that air. That air? Yeah. <laughs> mean that, that air? I'm full of air? No, I don't mean it bad. I, I just mean that you... You seem so experienced. Oh, thanks a lot. Jeez. I ain't that old. No, no, that's not what I mean at all. I just... Oh, I got a bad case of putting mouth disease. I'm sorry. Can I try again? You're already two for three. Yeah. Listen, I'm not from Oklahoma City. I'm just a small town girl from Choctaw. Thank you. Well, uh, thanks for the beer. Yeah. Uh, you say Santa Glancy? I finished my last set at 11. Can I stop by and see you? You're sweet, but uh, we got an early start in the morning. Me and the kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting better, see? I, I didn't turn on what that time. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, chicken fried steak. Kip? 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 What are you doing under the bed? By the way, that guy came back. What guy? The jerk who dropped me on my head. Did he see you? No, I hid under here. Okay, good. Oh, you know what, sweetheart? I think he just wanted to bring us something nice. Guess what I brought for you? Are you hungry? Hey, I brought you that honeymoon suite of champagne, even though you ain't in the honeymoon suite. Yes, yeah, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. You know, I just thought that maybe, maybe you and me oh, could no. enjoy it. Oh, uh, Thank you. I'm just going to turn in. Come on. Could, couldn't she use a, a little company? Pretty gal like you, all alone. No, no, really. I'm so tired. I'm just going to hit the hay. You are alone, are you? Good night, Lee.
soon you have to listen to me. Not that man. You can't let him take him. No! That's her. Yeah, crazy lady carrying her boy around in a bag. No! In a bag! He touched my son. He molested my son. You can't let him take him. Baby! It's gonna be okay, baby. Don't you do this. Don't you do this. Stop it! No! What's wrong with you? I told you what I'd do. I told her, didn't I tell you? Kip, you all right, son? Shh, it's okay. She's gone. She can't hurt you no more. He's fine. Scared. Tired. I'm just glad he's safe. Now you don't have a mama. What do you think about that, you? You gotta help me. This is not right. You must listen. Who's gonna tuck you in now? I gotta get my boy back. you on what they call the 48-hour mental health hold. What, what do you mean? Tommy told the court that he's afraid you'd hurt yourself, so they invoked a hold. He can't do that. How yeah. can he do that? Yeah, they can. It's the law. This is not about the law, Randall. This is about a mother's rights to protect her kid. This is about my right to protect my kid. Randall, please, you got to get me out of here. once or twice it can never happen again it can't ever happen again tommy could do all kinds of terrible things to kip in 48 hours you think about that randall you think about that 48 hours two days behave yourself you locked up the wrong person randall you locked up the wrong person Like you was rode hard and put away wet. Hey. Okay. You posted my bail? Well, never you mind. Just don't go jumping it, okay? Where's Kip? Oh, honey, he's at Tommy's. Well, I gotta see him. Let's go see him. Can you take me there? 
He's got a restraining order against you. He can't do that. He's my son. 500 feet from both of them until this thing goes to trial. No. No! What the hell with that? I'm sorry. Ain't no law gonna keep me away from my boy. No. Tess! Not here, okay? Well, let's just go to Tommy's. You take me over to Tommy's and work it out. When Randall told me, I nearly got my shotgun and went after that dumb son of a bitch myself. We're both working on getting somebody to look into it for us. But it is like trying to braid live eels in a bucket. I don't get it. The law is more on the side of the monsters than the children. I'll take care of it. Now don't you go getting in any deeper than you already are. Randall and I will find somebody who can help us. Yeah, I said us. I'll take care of it. I just want it the way it was. I want my family back. A little late for that, sugar. We've already got lawyers and judges involved. No, Tommy. It ain't about the law. It's about us. It's about our family. It's about you, me, and Kip. I'm sure we can make all that other crap go away if you just let me back in. Come on. 
you really meant what you said, we can work it out. Baby, come on. I'm tired. I want my boy back. And you. That's crazy. I don't know you won't run off with him again first chance you get. No, I'm done running, I swear. Come on. Just let me back in. Please let me back in. I'll be good, I promise. About time you come to your senses. I was beginning to think you had completely lost your mind. This is where you belong, baby. You mean kill. That's all there is. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. You tell your mama what kind of dog you gonna get? He wanted one of them frou-frou dogs at first. I told him, that's no kind of dog for a man. But he's okay with that now, ain't you, kid? You okay with that, Mama? Yeah, sounds great. Jimmy Pulley got a new litter of doby puppies. He's gonna give me one cheap because he still owes me for fixing the boat. They's pure breed. Usually cost two, three grand each. Is that right? I got you something too, baby. Remember I told you? Aw. What is it? Open it. I gotta get stuff on the table. Just open it. I expect a private fashion show right after supper. Damn, this is tasty, Merlin. At least your mama's good for something, huh, Kev? Of these. What are they? Something the doctor gave me to calm down some. You should have seen him a couple of days ago. Out of control. All right, sweetheart. Be a good boy and take these. Rest your salad. Give it mom to mom Take flight. 
Suitcase. No, we're gonna leave it. Come on, let's go. Come on. Crazy bitch. I should know better. Mommy, stop. Just let us go. We'll never bother you again. Fixing to kill me too. Get out of here. Get out, Kipko. 
Go outside. Mom will be right there. Oh, please. You gonna shoot me? You ain't got the balls. Just set it down. Just set it down, Merle. You're just making things worse on yourself. The police would have a field day with you and that gun. You just digging that grave deeper and deeper. Good girl. Just set it down. This never happened. It shot me. <sighs> you crazy bitch. You know deep you're in hell. You shot me. You crazy bitch. And you're never gonna see your kid again. Please, give me an excuse to put the next one through your head. <sighs> Bitch shot me. Arrest her. Makes me feel like everything is gonna be alright. <laughs> 
It makes me feel like everything is gonna be alright It makes me feel like everything is gonna be alright When I'm with you 